Hey everybody, this is Mary Shores and I am coming to you live from my office. Tr decided this morning to try one of these crazy filters. Today we're going to talk about manifesting and the law of attraction and I'm bringing this to you guys kind of as a preparation because I have a couple of big, big talks to do as well as going to be on an online summit today and speaking live at a Hay House event. So I want to talk about manifestation and really what does that mean because it's a huge topic that I cover in my book conscious communications and it's also something that I'm constantly going to be posting about in my group fearless ambition so let's start with manifestation what does that mean well it's all about what and how you create in your life because everything in your life you're creating it and how are you creating it you're creating it with your thoughts your words your actions so every choice in life is bringing to you what your next available choices are going to be and it's so cool when you start to understand that because really all the power lies within you and we hear that all the time but we never know what does it mean or what to do about it or how to harness that power within ourselves in order to manifest and create what we want in life so law of attraction is just really talking about you attract what you are or you attract what you think about but it's so much more complicated than that because honestly I don't know about you but by about I don't know 7 30 in the morning I've already had 16,000 crazy ass thoughts that if those thoughts manifested it would be a crazy crazy world like it would be a scary place because I don't know I might have been thinking about weird weird things and we all do so like that's just normal right but so obviously it's not just about what you think but what you think about becomes what you talk about and then what you talk about becomes really influences your choices in life and so what I want to talk about today is how do you connect to the good things in life more than the chaos and the crazy making so if we could imagine that our thoughts are creating all of the time which I'm gonna say is true but not like in the real time that we understand so if you're an Abraham Hicks fan Abraham talks a lot about having this vibrational escrow and the vibrational escrow means like what if there's this like what if there's this like um, storage place of everything that you've ever created with your thoughts but that storage place is in another dimension we'll call that the vibrational escrow and everything everything is in that spot I mean all of the if you created that you won an Academy Award that's in that spot but if you created that that you got this illness and you died penniless that's also in that spot so every possibility that ever existed is in your escrow but how do you connect yourself to the things that are the good potentials because if if there are infinite possibilities in this world which I truly truly believe that there are then how do you make something go from an from a possibility to a probability and here's where we go this is where the magic lies it's in your thoughts your words and your actions it's in what are choices you're making right now today that are connecting you to what you want so one of my big stories is for 10 years I wanted to write a book 10 this many 10 years but I had a big problem because my words were that I want to write a book but I'm not a writer now here's what's interesting the words were a, a mirror to my subconscious programming so the words I want to be a writer it's like that that is written on my soul it is my purpose to come into this lifetime and teach and share what I know with the world about things that I'm sure I've learned through many many lifetimes but the words I am not a writer are a mirror to my subconscious belief system that I must have created perhaps with the belief that I don't know you have to have a PhD to be a writer or maybe my belief is I have to be well connected in the publishing industry which I am so not so as long as my beliefs as long as my words coming out of my mouth are I'm not a writer I was never gonna write anything so I had to take action to start to override that belief and what I did was I started going to writers workshops and so when I went to my first writers workshop I started to train myself with the skills necessary so my question for you is you know the first step is decide with intensity what you desire in life and then the next question to ask yourself is what are you willing to give in order to get 
this desire? What is it that you're willing to give? What are you willing to do to get this desire? Where Where is the starting place? Do you need to educate yourself? Like I did, I had to go to a writer's workshop. Maybe you need to take a training seminar, take an online class, do a Udemy, sign up at a community college, read books. You know, we live in an information age where you can have anything you want right at your fingertips within seconds. And so, just today's message as a basic, basic foundation of understanding the law of attraction is it's not just about your thoughts, but it's also that you get what you give. So make sure that you are giving, make sure that you are making choices in support of the next choice that you want to become available to you. Now, throughout throughout my videos that I'm going to do, I'll give you some more tips because I'm going to say things like, guess what? Gratitude. Gratitude is a huge manifester. You want to know why? Because we're creating everything from our subconscious programming. You know, I just read a study just last week that talked about um, neurologists have just discovered that the inside of our neural networks is actually like so 3D that they think it's got 11 dimensions. That is so cool. That means that everything inside of your, your brain programming is constantly creating new and new, new and more dimensions all the time. That's a quantum world that we live in. So if you're constantly creating, but you're, you're kind of stuck in these programs that were created in childhood, it is so, so important that you begin to carve out new neural networks for yourself. And the easiest and quickest way that I know to do that is with gratitude. So if you don't have a gratitude practice, start one right now today. You want to have an accountability partner? Get an accountability partner. Share your gratitudes with that person. Join my group, Fearless Ambition, and share gratitudes in that group. If you're, you know, there's people are always willing to find like-minded people to share these things with. And I also want to say that um, October is my birthday month. And so for, we're going to be doing some big celebrations, but one of the things that we're going to do is if you have, if you have a copy of Conscious Communications and you are willing to share that online by posting a pretty little picture of yourself with the book, then um, for every time you post a picture, we're going to put you into a free giveaway for a Fearless Ambition t-shirt. So thanks so much for, thanks so much Todd for saying that. That's really, really sweet. And um, let's just talk more about manifestation in the next video. All right. Thank you. Bye-bye. Hey, this is Mary. Thanks so much for watching. Check out a free chapter of my book, Conscious Communications at maryshores.com forward slash free chapter. The link is in the description below.